What's up everybody, it's Josh from Blackout and I wanna share with you guys a new project we just finished up. So right beside me we have another 2020 Police Interceptor Explorer and this one is for the city of Latrobe as you can tell by the graphics. And I wanna take you through everything that we did on this which is a lot. So I'll start at the front of the car and work my way towards the back. At the front we installed a Phoenix light bar and this is uh, pre-made to work with the Phoenix Fusion surface mount lights. So you can see them on the side here as well as integrated into the grill. On the mirrors, we did the Phoenix puck lights. These will flash and light up the whole side of the car and the ground beside it. In the back of the car, we'll deal with the front later. In the back of the car, we installed a full cage. So this is a ProGuard cage system. It's got a front and a rear partition with plexiglass barriers, a sliding uh, area where you can communicate with the prisoner, I guess, or whoever's riding in the back. The cage also comes with a plastic seat and seat belts as well. So the way these seat belts are set up, it's designed um, so that basically the officer can, this can be set up like this. It's not, not adjusted right now, but basically you can put the prisoner in and then lock the prisoner in that way. That way you're not, the officer's not reaching over a potentially dangerous situation um, to secure his prisoner in the back of the car, his or her prisoner. We installed a Phoenix Fusion light bar as well. So that, those can be custom made, they're LED of course, and we can design those so that you have red, blue, takedown lights, and whatever else you might need on the light bar wherever you want it. They're totally custom. In the rear hatch area, we installed some Phoenix Fusion surface mount lights also. And we also installed some Phoenix lighting on the rear hatch. Now these ones they wanted uh, integrated onto the hatch, so they of course aim up when the hatch is up. You can see the back of the cage with the partition there. Um, inside the car we've got a new console, and basically these consoles are really heavy duty and they're designed specifically to hold things like the controller and the vast car unit and the radio, which you can see isn't installed here yet. That's being installed um, when, whenever they get that in. You can see we have the magnetic mic mounts on this as well, so the officer can very quickly get that back on the console. This is a PA system and a siren, and the radio mount will be right over here. The Phoenix controller is very cool, very customizable. A lot of different settings you can do with this. So here you have your manual siren controls. A couple different options there. Now we've got our lighting. We have the front section, the rear section, and then the emergency button lights up all of the lighting without the siren. We've got a work light or a, a basically just a white light that allows you to see. You can see it's lighting up the front as well as the sides of the vehicle. Air horn button. Take down lights, which are bright white lights in the front of the vehicle. And then of course, it's an emergency. All the way to the right, turns the sirens on, turns the lights on, lets everybody know to get out of your way. So outside the vehicle, there's also one very obvious change and that is the graphics. We had these graphics designed custom for City of Latrobe and it's consistent with the theme that we've been doing on their school resource officer vehicles. So it has the Wildcat down the side. This one has a couple different graphics because it's not a school resource one, it's the regular police vehicle. Uh, we've got the claws on the hood. And this is all with a reflective vinyl. So at night, this will light up like a stop sign, makes the car extremely visible. And then we have some just normal reflective vinyl, um, orange on the rear bumper, so that if you're coming up behind the car with your headlights on, you can tell that it's a police vehicle. So all that's left on this thing is to just clean it up and go back to them tomorrow. Uh, we want to really go in depth with some of these police cars so you can understand exactly what we can do for you and your department. And if you're not a police officer, hopefully this is just cool to check out. Thank you very much for watching and be sure to watch for the next one.